Hey, this is Jody with WeldingTipsAndTricks.com and Welding-TV.com. Today we're doing a little stick welding with 7018 and we're talking about the arc force setting, also called arc control, also called dig on some machines. What the dig function or arc force setting does is it senses when your, your arc gets a little too tight because your voltage drops when that happens and it bumps up the amperage a little bit. So I'm running a 7018 right here, and I've got the, the uh, arc force set pretty high. That's the way I like to do it because I, I hold a pretty tight arc, or at least I try to. So let's talk about that. All right, this is an Everlast Power MTS. It's a MIG TIG stick unit. It's an inverter, and it has got this arc force setting on it. I'll also be using a thermal arc fabricator a little bit later in the video, kind of showing how it's set up on that. And you would set it probably uh, up really high around 100 or so for a 6010 or 6011 but for a 7018 recommendation is to set it down pretty low like as low as maybe 20 or 30 for a nice soft buttery arc I, I just like to hold a really tight arc and I don't uh, want to always have to run it at max amperage to be able to do that so I mess around sometimes and run a little bit high on the uh, arc force for a 7018 and I'm going to set it at 77 for this go round and 135 amps electrode positive and I'm welding on a pretty thick chunk of steel here and we're going to do a little multi-pass three bead type thing with this machine as well as the thermal arc fabricator today again 135 amps arc force set on 77 first pass I, I'm holding what, I, what feels to me like a really tight arc here I can feel the flux of the rod actually dragging and scrubbing along and so you know th that arc force will bump up the amperage enough when, when it senses that arc get really tight and you can hardly you just about can't stick the rod if you're in the range anywhere of, uh, of, of a good you know a good amperage setting with the arc control set up high like that now, this is an old old 7018 one eighth that's been in the shop in an open box for a lot of years but it still runs good with these settings here's a second pass once again now you watch the bottom, the very bottom of the uh, the rod there. It's almost, it's pretty much looks like it's scrubbing right around here, scrubbing on the uh, the base metal, and I can feel it. I can feel it rubbing, but but the arc is not at all wanting to stick on me. I got it in slow motion right here, so you can kind of see the uh, the variations in the arc length. Kind of subtle. I mean, I didn't notice them when I was welding, but now I'm blown this thing up here and looks nuts to me, but. Uh, that's what arc force does is it kind of compensates a little bit for your variations in arc length and if you get too close instead of sticking just bumps the amperage up and you'll keep going so it, it is a good good setting to have not every machine not every stick welder has it most new new uh, high-end inverters uh, have it all right let's do that third bead on here now one thing if you don't hold a pretty tight arc you will get some, occasionally it'll pop and you'll get some BBs. So that is a drawback if you have the arc force set up high with a 7018. Again, most people prefer to set it around, you know, 30% uh, or so for a 7018, which works good. I just like to experiment with things like this. All right, there's the three beads run, uh, one root and then two stacked with the, the Everlast. And now we're going to use the the thermal arc fabricator 252i again electrode positive that's the stinger that comes with it nice heavy ground clamp I like the solid copper alloy ground clamps not so important for stick welding or TIG but they really make a difference on MIG so all right, we're still we're still in MIG setting here, and you'll see I'm going to switch it over to stick here with a with a with a little toggle touchpad, and we go right into stick there, and we'll set it again. We'll set it at 135 amps as well. And the way to get into the arc force here is, is by holding that button in, then I can set it wherever I want it, and I'm going to set it just to be uh, equal. I'll set it up at 77 as well, and we'll we'll set the amperage to uh, 135 ready to roll. All right, here goes the first pass with the fabricator. Again,
what feels to me to be a pretty tight arc. I, I can't, I can, if in order to get it much tighter, I just have to ram it in there. I can feel it scrubbing along the base metal, and that's just kind of what I like. It kind of lets you relax a little bit in Daydream, actually, the arc force control. If you set it up a little bit high and you know you're not going to stick, um, you know, you're not going to stick the rod, you can kind of just almost well with one hand and just rest the rod along the, the metal. It's kind of nice. All right. Also, you notice I'm alternating directions here. Anytime you're doing a multi-pass weld like this, you're going to you're going to build up a lot of stress if you go in the same direction every time. Another thing is when I'm stacking that second bead over there, look, I'm, I'm much more than halfway over uh, overlapped on that by putting this bead on there. And that's kind of important. If you put it down too low, like exactly half, you're going to have a low kind of sunk in place in the in the fillet when you're done. This machine, even though it was set at about 135 amps, it seemed just a little bit, just a few amps, a few amps hotter. All machines are a little bit different. Got a little bit different personality. Now I'm alternating direction again, going the other direction with that last speed. And that is the finished fillet. It's the first one I did when I was kind of rusty and then of course as always the second time around you get a, you shake the rust off especially if you hadn't done stick welding in a while and do a little bit better job the second time around again 1 8 70 18 135 amps arc force set on 77 alright well that's it for this week just as a reminder I make a video every single week come rain or shine even when life gets in the way so Make sure to subscribe, and uh, if you like what you saw, hit the like button and make a comment. Thanks for watching again. See you next week.